While today the Goodyear blimps are invariably associated with sporting events and used for advertising purposes, this was not always the case. Goodyear started out in the blimp industry by making the envelopes for these types of airships. They then worked into creating the airships themselves and were soon awarded with a government contract to do just that. Five years after Goodyear created its first airship, two massive rigid aircraft named the USS Akron and the USS Macon, they were born. These flying wonders were created for the US Navy and carried speciality planes like the F-9C2 Curtis Sparrowhawks, which could be launched and retrieved during flights for long-range scouting and defensive purposes, as neither airships they were equipped with weapons. These massive aircraft were built with internal metal frames they could carry and maintain up to five planes while airborne, and were over two football fields in length, and weighed in at a stunning 400,000 pounds. That's 181,437 kilograms. 6.5 million cubic feet of precious helium were needed to lift these monumental ships into the sky. On April 3, 1933, the Akron was sent out to calibrate radio direction to find equipment along the northeastern coast of the United States. Only a few minutes after midnight, the aircraft was hit with a series of strong winds which caused the ship's tail to strike water and crash. 73 lives were lost that night, with only three survivors. On February 12, 1935, the Macon joined its sister aircraft when it hit a storm and its upper vertical fin was damaged. The blimp rapidly climbed to a dangerous altitude of 5,000 feet, which caused the automatic gas valves to open and release helium before its unavoidable descent. The Akron had crashed into the Atlantic Ocean. The USS Macon met a similar fate, but crashing into the Pacific. Thankfully, due to the tragic loss of the Akron two years earlier, the Macon was equipped with life jackets and rafts, which saved 81 lives, and only two were lost. Despite the loss of the USS Akron and the USS Macon, and the declining popularity of these types of aircraft, Goodyear continued to design and build airships, and between the 1940s and 1950s, the company built a series of surveillance airships for the US government. These blimps were created to watch and protect merchant ships along the coast, as well as monitor and send early warning if an incoming attack was present. One of history's most historic aircraft, the Goodyear-built ZPG-2, the Snowbird, was among the surveillance fleet. At the time, the record for continuous flight without landing or refueling was set at 200 hours and 26 minutes. On March 4, 1957, Snowbird took flight from NAS South Weymouth near Boston, Massachusetts, and after an impressive 11-day voyage, the airship landed at Naval Air Station Key West, Florida on March 15, 1957, breaking the previous record for continuous flight. Since then, four Goodyear blimps have crashed due to bad weather or malfunctions. The most recent accident was the Spirit of Safety, which, ironically enough, on June 12, 2011, caught fire. The Australian pilot, Mike Narancic, was a hero during that crash. The three survivors of the crash told the media that the blimp had caught fire during landing. Once the blimp was a mere two meters off the ground, Mike told the three passengers to jump to safety, which they did. In his last moments, rather than attempt to escape himself, Mike steered away the burning blimp from the ground crew and was later found dead at the controls. As to how the Goodyear blimp became inexorably associated with sporting events, this happened in 1960 when Goodyear, with the end of their government contract for airships looming, switched gears and decided to try using their blimps as aerial platforms for cameras during sporting events. This provided a service for sports coverage outlets while simultaneously functioning as a highly visible advertising platform for Goodyear itself. The first such event, partially filmed by cameras aboard a Goodyear blimp, was the 1960s Orange Bowl in Miami. Needless to say, this has worked out exceedingly well for the company, with Goodyear blimps traveling an average of 100,000 miles per year to various major sporting events, which is saying something considering that they travel at an average speed of just 35 miles per hour, that's about 16 kilometers an hour. However, they are capable of speeds as high as 53 miles per hour with favorable winds and the twin 210 horsepower engines at full throttle. And now for a bonus fact. Contrary to what you may have read, the word blimp did not come about from the fact that Type B airships in the United States were non-rigid, hence Type B limp. While there were Type A and Type B class airships in the US, the word blimp popped up in 1916 in England, a year before the Type B classification in the US. There is also no documented evidence of the US Type B ever being called limp. As to the real origin of the word blimp, well, this is up for debate, but it's generally credited to British Navy officer Lieutenant A.D. Conningham. The story goes that he coins the words after the noise that's made when flicking or tapping the airship's outer envelope. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a thumbs up below. Also, if you're looking for something else to watch, why not check out our new channel called Highlight History. It's sort of a Today in History thing. You'll find that linked to below. And as always, 
Thank you for watching.